That's some ominous shit, isn't it? Welcome to episode 5 of Chris Plays Games, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge Part 2. If you didn't watch last week's episode, it's up now on YouTube. If you uh, are not familiar with the plot, Dracula has kidnapped my son, whose name I can't really pronounce. And I'm gonna punch Dracula in the dick and get my son back. So yeah, here we are, Castlevania 2 on the Game Boy. Uh, like I said last week, developed in 1991, developed and published for the Game Boy by, uh, was it Konami? Yeah, let's go with Konami. And it's a good game, I'm not gonna lie to you. The first Castlevania game for Game Boy, complete shit. This game, really good. And I gotta tell you, we are up shit, shit creek now, because I've never even beaten this game. Like, I've been playing it since I was a kid, never beaten it. So, we're gonna play it, and we're gonna get as far as we can into it. Wow, that was close. Uh, for those of you who are not regulars for this show, um, I say it every episode, and I'll say it this episode. Uh, you might be tuning in to watch me beat a video game. You might be tuning in to watch me completely fail and just swear a lot. So there, there we go. That's where we are. Like always, my sidekick, Dr. Marcus Birdwell, he is sitting in with me. And licking himself inappropriately. That's weird. So yeah, we beat our four initial stages from the stage select. And now we are to Dracula's Castle, which is, uh, if I remember correctly, is a two-stage castle. It's, uh, you got the first stage with a boss, second stage with a boss, and then I think we go right on to Dracula. I'm gonna, full disclosure moment, that's gonna be a catchphrase for me. Um, oh shit, look at that. Um, I've never actually beaten the second stage boss for Dracula's Castle, so... Hopefully by the end of this episode we will see that boss, and then it's, uh, yep, then it will be the Day of Reckoning for Chris. And when I say Chris, I, uh, do not just mean me, uh, also Chris Belmont, who is our main character. I hate those enemies. They really- oh, that, by the way, that sound means we got a one-up. Um, I think we got about six or seven lives to make this happen, which is a complete inconsistency from the last episode. Let's just leave it at that. Total inconsistency. Yeah, we got about seven lives. Okay. Alright. I got half my life left. You know what really put me in a good mood for this game? And, um... I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. Before I started playing, I, uh, did some yoga. I, uh, went for a jog. And then I took a nice, long, cold shower. And it really... Look, I, I know not everybody exercises. And I'm not gonna get on your case and be like, Why don't you guys exercise? Um... I like to exercise. I, I don't do as much of it as I should, because I have a child and my wife goes to school and I have a full-time job and, you know, money's a little tight here and there. I think I've mentioned it before in uh, previous episodes, I am what you would call working poor. But, um, I don't know. Me, lately, I've been on a Danzig kick, so I threw on a Danzig record, which really put me in the mood for a Castlevania game, let me tell ya. And, um, yeah, there we go, some turkey from a rock and a castle that's very old and was previously submerged in water, if that makes sense. But yeah, man, really cleared my mind. So I'm going to start recommending that to my, uh, my gamer friends. You know what, the next time you're in the mood to play a video game, whatever it is you guys are playing lately, do yourselves a favor, do some yoga and some good cardio first, and really just see if that clears your mind. Maybe jogging isn't your thing, maybe you could go for a bike ride. Maybe 
just a walk around your neighborhood. Who knows? I'm just saying, give it a shot. So we're doing pretty good on time. I, uh... Despite the fact that this game has a time limit, I, uh... I don't think I've ever really... Oh, see, I really fucked myself there. I don't feel like I've ever really felt that time was an issue in this game. Like, I don't find myself looking at the timer a lot like I do in other video games that are timed and thinking, oh shit, I really gotta move this along. This is gonna be kind of a tricky boss. I have faced him before. And I've beaten him. So let's see if I can do it again now. I personally, he's good, he's a snake, he moves up and down through the floors. I think the key to it is doing your best to stay in front of him. Okay? But I'm not going in with full health, so... Yeah, because it's scrolling now, and we, uh, we don't want to get caught. Ah, fuck me. Okay, if I could just hit him twice. Shit. Okay. Bam! All right. <sighs> All right. See, that worked out well for us. Okay, but here's where I really got to concentrate. I really gotta get my shit together for this level. Okay. Can we do that? Can you guys help me? Just concentrate with me. If you're sitting at your computer, or your TV, or your smartphone, just concentrate with me. Okay. Let's do some deep breathing in. we should all hate these guys by now. Constantly trying to steal our whip upgrades and just being dicks. Yeah. So I faced the, this particular boss that we're coming up on. I have faced him before. Like I said, my strategy here is uh, dependent on whip upgrades and holy water. So, we gotta really do well to keep the whip upgrade and the holy water. Okay, we're gonna collect some hearts too, I have a feeling we're gonna need lots of hearts. So we're basically farming here, we're farming. I like saying that, farming. Okay, let's see, is this a turkey? No, but it's hearts. Okay, that's good. That's good. I didn't need turkey anyway. For those of you who don't know, I am actually a vegetarian. Well, no, I'm a pescatarian. Um, my diet mainly concern can uh, consists of fish. That's where I get my protein from. Once in a great while, I'll have meat. I don't do it for um, I don't do it for moral reasons. I'm not a big animal guy, to be honest. Um, there's Dr. Birdwell, and then that's pretty much it. That's... Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're moving on. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm feeling good that we can take this next boss. 
I feel like we could. And you know what? To, to get in the mood, I spent a good part of my day today. Um, I downloaded Castlevania 3 on the 3DS. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know what that is. Oh, I could have used that. But yeah, I downloaded Castlevania 3 on the 3DS, and I spent a good part of my day just enjoying that. Oh, yeah, and we got a 1-up, too. I think we're up to, yeah, 8 lives. Okay. But yeah, Castlevania 3, great game, but I will tell you now, hard as balls. I mean, even if you're an experienced gamer, that one's going to hurt you. Okay. We're doing good. We're relaxing. We're having a little fun. Also, by the way, playing, uh... Lately, I've been playing, um... Super Godzilla for the Super Nintendo. And I, uh, let me tell you about that real quick. I, uh, no joke, I spent the majority of my day yesterday just playing that game. I, uh, I had my son with me. My wife was at work for a little while. And, um, yeah, no joke, I, uh, I literally, because my son's been on a Godzilla kick lately, he's watched so many Godzilla movies in the last few days, it's it's ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I've been playing Super Godzilla in that game. It's so weird, like, the actual levels are really tedious. Like, oh gosh. It's like playing Pac-Man, but you have, like, a perpetual cutscene on the top half of the screen, and the map that you move Godzilla around on the bottom half, and then at the end of each stage is a monster fight, where you fight, you know, different monsters. Um, Mecha Godzilla, Ghidra, you know the deal. You, you guys are probably Godzilla fans, right? And if you're not, fuck you. So, but the cutscenes when you fight the monsters, like, you're working out your attacks on the bottom half of the screen, and then, once again, perpetual cutscene on the top half of the screen. And it's so cheesy and so cool, and they really, like, they nailed... Shit. I can't jump here because I'll hit those spikes and I'll be really fucked. But, yeah, they, uh, they really nailed the sound effects and the music and everything. And that just makes the tedious levels just so worth it. We might do a series of videos for Chris Plays Games where I play... God damn it. Where I play... Super Godzilla. And we'll just see how that goes. I'm telling you right now, if I do those, just skip right to the end of the videos and just... Yeah, at the end of each level. And just watch me fight the giant monsters. There it is. <sighs> Such a pain that part. Okay, concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Do not let this guy fuck you. Do not let him fuck up our gameplay. Okay. 
Alright. There we go. We're coming up on a boss fight. And this is... This is a big one. I'm nervous. I'm gonna try and do this in silence so I can concentrate. I hope you guys understand. I'm surprised you made it this far. The rebirth of Dracula will occur soon. You cannot destroy me. Father. Oh, 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 so this is supposed to be my son. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Kick his ass, kick his ass. Come on! Fuck! I don't know if I could do this, man. Now I gotta go in there without holy water, and just... No, just holy water? And a normal whip with no fireballs, man. I think I'm fucked. I think I really fucked up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, we know who you are. I know the big reveal. Let's just do this. upgrade for my score. That, that's... Come on, give me an item. Give me something I can use. You're gonna give me a coin to start off? Fucking cock tease. <sighs> okay. Yes, okay. Come on. I get holy water isn't going to do it alone. <sighs> Shit. How many more lives do we have? Alright, about five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, score. They give you a coin first. That was fucking... Ugh. What am I, what am I supposed to do with that shit? Is there anything I can, like, break here? No. This fucking thing. <sighs> Come on. Come on. I wonder if I just get, like, right on him and just whip the shit out of him. I wonder if I could do that and pull it off. My whip isn't hitting him!
Why do Castlevania games need to be this difficult? I mean, seriously. Like, what the fuck, Castlevania? What did we ever do to you? Seriously? Does this guy have a mullet? Ugh. Three more lives. Not gonna say it this time. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that coin. Fuck that coin. Alright. I know, this time, I'll just jam my fingers down the keyboard harder. I'll show it. At least they let you skip the dialogue. That's nice. I don't have to listen to the spiel every time. Alright, you mullet asshole. Come on. Fuck you, and fuck your mullet. score. Like, what? Who gives a fuck about this? Well, you do get extra lives when your score gets high, but in a situation like this, who gives a fuck about the score? <sighs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Holy water, asshole. <sighs> God damn it, Christopher Belmont. I feel like you're supposed to be stronger than that. supposed to be? A fucking fedora? Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Oh, fuck. You know what? I know he's supposed to be my kid, but this guy can eat a dick. <sighs> fuck this game. Fuck it in its ass. Fuck the Game Boy. Fuck Konami. I'm done. Okay, this has been Chris Plays Games Episode 5. Comment, like, share, whatever. Uh, I, yeah, fuck this game. See you next week.